To begin, I just added some 1080p 60 frames per second footage to my timeline that I'd like to export with a reduced file size. Let's begin by using the Ctrl M keyboard shortcut to open up the export window. At the bottom of the window, you can see your estimated file size. To reduce our file size, we need to lower our bitrate, and the easiest way to do that is by changing our preset. Mine set to match source adaptive high bitrate, which is going to give me the best possible quality, but isn't really needed for my 1080p footage. I recommend just using the match source high bitrate preset instead of the adaptive ones. Now, as you can see, it cut my file size to about a quarter of what it was before. If you'd like to reduce your file size even more, make sure you have the video tab selected and scroll down to the bitrate settings. Now, if you have 60 FPS footage like me, I wouldn't recommend going lower than a target bitrate of 10, but if you have 30 FPS footage, you can safely reduce the target and maximum bitrate to 5 or 6 without making a huge difference in quality. Okay, by doing this, I cut my file size by about another half. On the other hand, if you have 4K footage or a high resolution, I would start by changing the preset to adaptive medium or lower the bitrate a little bit manually to see what kind of difference it makes in quality. Once you're satisfied with your file size, just hit export to finish the process. Alright, and that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you next time.